Hello Year One, this video is for Wednesday the 10th of February and it's to help you with your maths work. So today we're going to carry on doing some more work on capacity and um, it's a very practical lesson uh, using real water. So if the weather is nice today, um, it'd be good to go outside so that if you spill any water um, it doesn't matter as much if it's outside or you might want to do this activity in the bathroom. Um, or if you are going to use a table like me, make sure you move your phone or your tablet or your co computer out of the way because we don't want any water to go on anything important. Okay, so we're going to talk about some of the different words we describe, we use to describe um, how much liquid is in a container. And I'm going to be using my flower vase today so that you can see through it. Um, but you might want to use a jug, you might want to use a glass, um, you might want to use a bowl or a bucket um, and send us some photos um, of your capacity work that you're going to do today. So I've made some little cards and my first card says the word empty and you can see my vase is empty, it's got nothing in, no liquid in at all. Okay, so it's empty. So you could show me your container with a little label on saying empty. So my next label says nearly empty. Okay, so there's going to be a little bit of liquid in just at the bottom. Okay, and I've used a bit of food colouring in my liquid just so it's easier for you to see. So I'm going to pour a little bit in Okay, now I only want it to be nearly empty, so I've just put a little bit in the bottom. Okay, it's not much in at all, it's nearly empty. So if this was your drink, you could say it's nearly empty, I need some more drink, or I've nearly finished it all so that it, it is nearly empty. My next card, and I've got two cards now, okay, my next card says half empty and we haven't done much work on fractions yet but think of a pizza and if you cut it in half then both sides are the same okay if it's an equal half both sides are the same so I've got to fill my vase up so that there's the same amount is full on the bottom and the same amount is still empty on the top so I've got to try and make it half and half if I was going to measure, you've got to look really carefully how much you're putting in. Because I want to try and get it half full. Okay, and I think that's about half full. It doesn't have to be exact, but if I was going to measure this amount at the top, it'd be the same as this amount at the bottom. Like I've cut it in half. Okay. So this one is half empty. There's the bit at the top hasn't got any liquid in, but actually you could also say that it is half full because the bottom bit is full up, halfway up to the vase. So half full and half empty actually mean the same thing, okay? My next card says nearly full. Now this is where some people get confused between full and nearly full, okay? If it's full, and I'll show you full in a minute if I've got enough liquid, then you could not fit any more in without it overflowing. But if it's nearly full, there is still a little bit of space at the top where you could fit a little bit more water in. So I'm gonna add some more water. I'm being really careful, trying not to spill it. So I have got a little towel next to me, which is a good idea for if I do spill any. Okay. So I'm going to stop there because it's nearly full. I've got to slow down when I'm pouring because I don't want it to go all over the table. But there is a little bit of space at the top where I could put some more in. So this is nearly full. Here's my towel. I just spilt a little bit then, so I'll just... Keep it nice and clean, you don't want to be making a mess at home. And the last card that I've got is full, OK? 
right? We sometimes say full to the brim. You couldn't fit any more in without it overflowing. And this is where it can get a bit messy. You've got to go slowly with your pouring. And you've got to try and see if you can make it go right to the top without going over the edges so that you can't fit any more liquid in. Oh, stop. And now you can say that your container or your vase or whatever you're filling up is totally full, full to the top. Okay. So I hope this video has helped you understand some of those words and I hope you've had fun um, with your uh, water that you've been playing with and think about next time you have a bath talking about how much water is in the bath. Is it nearly empty? Is it nearly full? Um, is it half full? And we look forward to seeing your videos telling us all about your capacity work or some photos with some of the different labels. Keep working hard year one, well done.